Good morning, everyone. So it is Thursday morning, and I actually had everything all shot and edited and, one sec, Finn, Finn, lay down. Um, so I had everything shot and edited. I had my, um, I had all of my music picked out. I had done my voiceovers for my vlog this week. And there's something, the, the editor that I use on my phone is called Video, Video Leap, I think. And Norman, oh my God. Y'all with toddlers, I, I don't know how, you need like three more sets of eyes and I don't know how you do it. Um, these are just dogs, not kids. <laughs> anyway, so I had everything shot and edited and I had my voiceovers done. I had all my um, music picked out and laid down and I um, had it prepped, but I didn't upload it. And then I deleted the videos from my phone because I'm not buying any more storage from Apple. I'm just not doing it. So I keep my my media cleared out. Well, I cleared out all but like one of the videos that was going into the vlog for this week and and lost everything. So I'm reshooting this and this week's vlog. It's actually kind of Groundhog Groundhog's Day here. So everything that I shot earlier this week up until yesterday, um, it it's kind of all the same today it's like repeat and um you know our days are filled with working from home cleaning the house and regular stuff for like life and then just these two i don't even know what to call them they're like <laughs> they're like furry tumbling baby hippos rolling through the house i don't I, 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 it's like I have to keep them separated all the time. They're not fighting, they're playing, but they're they're like 80 pounds and I can't keep them managed. And it's so frustrating and so overwhelming. I'm just so grateful I have a place to talk about it because um, y'all, I mean, Finn doesn't want to be, Finn, 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 Norman, come, come. Norman goes over there and teases him when he's in the crate. Mm -hmm. So, no, come, come, right here. Come, come, come. Sit, sit. So, Norman goes and teases, no, sit down. Sit. So he goes and teases Finn when Finn's in the crate. And then when Norman's in the crate, Finn goes and teases him because they really just want to play 24-7. Um, and we don't have a lot of like stuff in the house, like breaking stuff. You know, we don't have vases out and all of that, but, but they, they just, I mean, they're the size of five-year-olds. If you have five-year-old boys who play in the house, you know a little bit of what I'm talking about. It's maddening. It's just constant energy and noise all the time. And if I'm reading or editing video or text for work, mostly for work, I'm editing text and um, researching um, methods of editing and shooting videos because that's what we're doing now during the pandemic, I can't focus. So, um, so I have to keep them separated. And so one goes in the crate and then the other one stays out with me. He's into his Kong now. I put him in there, put Finn in there with the Kong, and he seems like he's into the Kong now, so that's good. Um, I just have to keep Norman here, and it's like one hand is always on a dog. I know I said I didn't like a house without a dog, but I really just want one dog, so everyone please pray for Finn to get over his fear issues because I, I've been working every day with him, every single day, doing desensitization with him to get over his fear of people. Um, it doesn't take very long, but he, he 
he has to find the right adopters, and I really, really, really need for him to find his forever home because I, I just, ugh, I know I'm not, I promise this would be like no drama um, vlog, but I'm overwhelmed. And if you have a dog or puppy, <coughs> big dog with a little bark. <laughs> He's this big dog with his chihuahua bark. Um, if you have just adopted puppies or young dogs and you are frustrated too, put a comment down below. Let's talk about it. No? Okay. No? There we go. Oh boy. Uh, let's talk about it because I know thanks to, well not thanks to the pandemic, I guess it's kind of a silver lining of the pandemic. So many dogs and cats um, have been adopted. And a lot of times people are having dogs the first time in their life. And it's not my first time. I mean, I've had dogs for, big dogs for 30 years. And I kind of know what I'm doing, but even I am struggling with this. Um, and maybe it's because I'm working from home. You know, maybe another time in my life, they would be here by themselves and they would sort themselves out and be sleeping all day. Um, I think a lot of it is that I'm home and they want my attention, so they play at my feet. Um, and they do all these kinds of things to get my attention. So I think that might be some of it. But if you're frustrated too, or you don't know what to do, put a comment down below and let's talk about it. Um, now I'm gonna switch topics and I'm gonna do my makeup with you. I'm feeling a little bit better um, in general after um, Rin died. Um, it's definitely a process. I feel a little bit better each day. And so I'm gonna do today a more full makeup look. Um, I, I just, I've got to get my hair cut. The weather is better today. It's much drier here in Central North Carolina. So um, my hair is not as frizzy and it's like looking a lot better. So that's good. Um, I'm gonna put you on fast forward so that you don't have to go through everything. And I'll just um, do a voiceover for everything that I'm using. So I'm gonna put you on a fast forward and I'll see you back when the look is done. So this is no makeup, just moisturizer. Um, I haven't even put my sunscreen on. This is gonna be my sunscreen for today. And I'll see you back in a minute. Alternatively, um, this summer before Rin died, I just have them in my makeup kit over here. Um, I'm not really into a full, full, full foundation face, so I just use the Josie Moran um, Perfect and Protect, um, which I showed you earlier. Um, sunscreen. So. Um, and the one thing, this is a tip that I sort of learned the hard way. As you get older and the light sort of bounces weird on your skin, it's not that I have so many wrinkles really, it's just that I have this sort of mid-50s skin laxity. So the ironic thing is in my 40s, I didn't wear a lot of powder and I always told people don't wear a lot of powder. Um, when you're older because it sits in your wrinkles and that's true, but the hourglass um, powder the ambient 
lighting power, the ambient lighting powder, um, which has a little bit of luminosity to it. Um, just here and just here, and just kind of in these areas where the light kind of grabs the skin laxity, that I just press it in with the brush, as you saw. Just kind of press, 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 and then just kind of um, wash over and a little bit down the neck as well. I don't touch my forehead because I like a little bit of glow on my forehead. I don't touch around the edge of my face because I like a little bit of glow there. So, especially now with the camera and all the lights, the rig that I have with the lights for work, um, it can make a glowy face. It can make it look a little shiny, greasy, and not not really pretty. So, um, so that is my trick for older sort of lax skin with a kind of a laxity and not a lot of fine wrinkles. So I don't have. I don't know how much closer I can get. I don't have a lot of fine wrinkles, but um, I do have this kind of skin laxity at 54. I'm actually really grateful for for the, the skin that I do have, so I'm not complaining, but um, you know, anything to make you look a little prettier. So that is today's makeup, that's today's makeup look, and literally my daughter-in-law is just texting me on my phone camera. Um, what light do you use for your Zoom meetings? <laughs> so, talking about Zoom meetings, in today's vlog, um, I use the Ubenzi Circle Light. Um, it's on a telescoping tripod and it has a holder for the phone that you can remove and you can clamp on at any point on the tripod. And the tripod will go all the way up to a six foot um, height or it will stay Right now, it's probably at about a, maybe two foot height. So it's tabletop right now, it's not sitting on the floor. So I'm gonna answer her um, text with that information and I'll link it below in case you're interested in getting the same light. I also have these clip-on lights um, from, let's see. Lep Lep Lepwer? I'm not sure. I um, I sort of created my own lighting rig because um, I, I, I can't just get light from here. I need to have light from, from all angles and those LED panels are really good but they can be a little pricey and these were like $10 and they clip on to my desk. So I'll put those as well um, in the description box below. So I am going to jump off and I'll see you later with more content that I am replacing from the content that was lost because I deleted all my videos before saving my main edited vlog for this week. Okay, so see you later. This week we started a very helpful routine whereby in the morning, First thing, the boys go out, and then Norman gets his peanut butter Kong and chills in the crate, and Finn spends the workout time okay, with so me. Okay, so this is what I got for um, Norman to deal with his puppiness. Um, Norman is, we think he's rescue, so we're not sure exactly how old he is. The vet thinks that he's definitely under a year old. And I personally think he's six to eight months old because of how puppy he acts. Um, and puppies need something to do at all times. Even though we do two good walks a day, one, one walk is... Finn! One walk is over a mile in length. It's like 45 minutes to an hour. Now the other one we do is shorter. But um, you have to give him something to chew on. So what I've given him is you can see he's got this um, this rope 
bone. It kind of looks like a bone. Um, this is cotton, 100% cotton. So if he gets it in his tummy, it's not gonna bind up in his intestines, we hope. Um, pretty, pretty sure, I mean, over the years, these rope toys have been really good for our dogs. Um, and I'll link it below, but basically I got it from, I got them, I ordered a bunch, I think from Chewy.com. This is the, um, the uh, packaging, um, Mammoth Flossy Chews in 100% cotton yarn. So um, these came, oh, actually I might have gotten these at Amazon, but at any rate, um, Finn, Finn. Finn's complaining because he's by himself. This being by themselves is definitely not a shepherd thing. Shepherds really, they are known in the shepherd world as the Velcro dog because they wanna be stuck to your side like Velcro. Um, and that's really true. That's really, really true. Um, so, that's a better angle, right? <laughs> so, he's getting better at being in the crate by himself. He does have a Kong in there, but he's pouting and he's, it's got peanut butter in it. He'd rather pout and whine than um, get into a peanut butter Kong. So that tells you kind of his unstable frame of mind. Um, the rescue and I are working with a professional trainer who um, has been really helpful and very insightful um, and told me yesterday at my most recent checkup with her um, when human beings screw up powerful smart intelligent breeds like german shepherds they really screw them up so um he is not he's actually easier in the house than norman because he likes to nap he is trustworthy he doesn't chew anything he um has kind of zoomy moments but for the most part he just kind of wanders around and sticks his nose in to see what you're doing and then goes and lays down he doesn't have to have something to chew but he's so fearful of people that he just breaks down becomes very unstable so that's what we're working on desensitizing that we'll grab some video um, of that work that we do a little bit later today to help you um, if you are dealing with that as well um, basically it's just going out and reinforcing that people aren't gonna hurt them changing the message in their brain to scary people fr from scary people to scary people but there's food <laughs> and uh, safety and a person that I trust um, so the f we're basically we're replacing the scary people message with there's food so the food eventually will change to, oh, people aren't scary. They actually bring cool stuff like food and attention and love. And the more people, the more food, attention, and love. So that's what we're doing with him. Um, but he's mad because he's in the crate because I can really only have, as I've said 10,000 times, one dog out at a time. Where'd you go, Bubba? Oh my gosh. It's just like a constant chase. Okay. There he is. So he's still got his little rope bone. I'm so thankful for those. They're like $4 a piece, and I just bought like a half dozen because um, he goes through them. Once he un once he unwinds that um, that rope thing, um, he will then, let's see if I can get a better shot. Once he unwinds that rope thing, he chews on the knot, as you can see, on the side of the knot until it comes undone, and all the, the yarn comes unraveled, and then he like, pulls on the yarn and leaves little pieces all over and so I just have to throw that throw it away but um but yeah that's why I get a bunch and that's why we get good quality yarn and stuff so um okay so that is the morning update for so we've had um a pretty good day today um the key with these two I'm finding is that um if I can get kind of control of one in terms of what we're doing for that chunk of time, then I can get control of the other. So today I've worked hard. I've noticed that Norman is, um, no, Norman, just like right now, Norman. Norman is a little bit of an instigator and he, I noticed that Finn, Finn, <laughs> 
really wants mostly to be left alone and to have a nap. Um, and so you can sort of see his position here. He kind of was laying here looking out, out the glass and he, he's really, he's taken um, Norman's Kong, which I will fix that by taking it out um, because they will sort of fight, not fight over it, but they just kind of go back and forth over who has the right to have the Kong. <laughs> and um, so now they're sort of tussling with each other. No, nope, no. Nope. So I just have got Norman on the e-collar and I just sent him a signal that you're not to mess with um, Finn. And Finn needs to know that I have control of Norman so that he can relax as well. So we're actually having a pretty good day today. We just went through 45 minutes of napping near each other but not tussling or playing. Norman, um, would, you know, again, just like kids, Norman goes through a period, a, a couple of days where he wants to pick on Finn and Finn goes through, usually in the evening, there you just saw it, Finn usually goes through an evening period where he wants to sort of pick on Norman and Norman sort of stops about 7.30 and wants to, wants to sleep and be left alone. So my job is to sort of notice those patterns and routines and tap into that and find the best way to get through this time where the two dogs are together. And um, again, hopefully Finn will find his forever home really, really soon. We think we, we might have another great home for Finn. He's just gonna make such a great dog when he finds the right home that understands some of his fears and it will only take a, a few weeks after he finds that home for him to know that he's safe and he can trust, for him to relax and be the best, easiest dog ever. And since he's so young, he'll be the best, easiest dog, smartest, uh, dog for the adopters um, and it will all this work will really pay off so I just wanted to let you know um, we're sort of figuring it out um, again um, we had a great a great run where I was sitting at my desk working and they were laying near each other quietly sort of sleeping I guess sleeping a little bit so that was really nice um, Norman's had his his mile walk this morning um, and we're getting ready to go out, um, Finn and I, and do our people aren't so scary desensitization exercise. So that's the good update for today. Okay, so I'm gonna try and speak very quietly because this is the second nap time that the boys have done together when they've both been kind of, well, when one hasn't been in the crate. So, I want you to see outside. I don't know if you can see. I'll see if I can get the light. If you can see, Norman is laying out there. It's nice enough today that I can have the door propped open. The, the deck, um, Eric built a, a swinging gate door that matches the, the gate. The decking um, around the, I, I don't know what you call it, the, the, um, oh my gosh, the deck, the deck fence, whatever that, that stuff is. He made a, a, a swinging door to, to um, mirror that. I don't know if you can see. Oh shoot, you probably can't. But Norman is out there and he gets up and moves every minute or so to a different spot. He's sort of, I think he's either chasing the sun or chasing the shadow. And then over here, we have Mr. Finn. Finn has really learned that place command very well. So whenever we come into this room, he goes straight to the place. Um, the place command applies to any perimeter area so a bath mat a towel a cushion a chair that's an elevated place command that's more advanced training um, even this um, this area rug that you see here 
I have made this a place um, in an exercise for Norman where he couldn't move off of this area rug because I wanted him to give some distance and respect Finn's place because Finn just didn't want to play. So I made this big area here a place for Norman to stay on. Um, and again, that's using the off-leash e-collar um, method. But um, Finn has really learned the place command very, very well. He really actually likes this now because it's kind of in a little bit of a corner, so he knows that he can lay over there and mostly be left alone when Norman really wants to play. Um, he can go over there and, and kind of get out of the way of Norman when Norman's in a playful mood. But as I said, I can't even believe it. This is the second time today that these boys have gone to, to somewhat distant areas and laid down and they're not even really sleeping hard. They're just kind of, just like what, what Finn is doing, just kind of laying around watching the, uh, watching the shadows move. Um, so it's, um, it's been a really, really, really um, peaceful, nice day here. I've been able to get some work done, um, both remote work from the university and also um, I got some recipes done as well. There was a period of time where I couldn't even move through the kitchen without being knocked over by dogs that were playing and rolling around in the kitchen. And, you know, I couldn't, I just couldn't yell at them enough or control them enough. And so that I just stopped cooking and um, stopped preparing meals and all of that stuff. So, um, so today I actually got some meals done and um, it's actually been a very peaceful day here. It sort of reminds me of the days when um, when Rin was here, because that's what Rin would do. He would either this was that was Rin's place right there. That was that's his mat. Finn's using his mat, and then outside, that's the same spot that actually all the dogs went to that that corner spot under the table. Um, it's kind of in a corner, and they get you know great views of both sides of the yard. We have three acres of woodland, as they say in the UK. We have three acres of woodland here in North. Uh, Northway County, so, um, so things are looking up. We're having a really good day today.